Hi, my name is Michael Correa. I am an embedded vision engineer with Pyramid Imaging. Today, I wanted to talk about a powerful, lightweight, and easy to use controller which we distribute. The controller is the CC320, a controller from a company called Gardasoft, which specializes in LED controllers, specifically in regards to pulsing and strobing LEDs. Gardasoft also makes other, larger controllers, which we also distribute. The Gardasoft CC320 is a powerful timing controller in a compact package. It has a variety of easily configurable modes, specifically designed for machine vision. The controller can be programmed multiple ways, the easiest being the user-friendly web pages. No special programming skill will be required to use the controller. The CC320 can operate on 12 to 24 volts. The CC320 was designed to replace a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, with a much easier setup and interface. It can be used to interface with encoders, sensors, cameras, and even other controllers. Let's talk about a few scenarios where the CC320 could be helpful. When a trigger signal must be sent after some period of time when a sensor is triggered. In this image, we can see that a sensor detects the object and then triggers the camera when it expects to have traveled in front of the camera. It can also be helpful when multiple triggers must be sent after the respected periods of time. This scenario is similar to the one before, except we now have more cameras further down the conveyor, which must be triggered when the product is in front of them. This mode can also be set with encoder counts in the case of a variable speed conveyor. In this example, Regular pulses are sent as long as a signal is active. In this picture, we can see a camera is being continuously triggered, but when the sensor's signal becomes high, the pulses stop. They resume once the signal returns to low. You can define whether the input should be considered active high or active low. Here, we have four different lights and one camera. The camera needs to take pictures for every light, but only one light is on at a time. You can trigger the lights similar to before, but then the camera needs to be triggered four times after the input becomes true. Pulse Burst mode allows you to set the number of times you want an output triggered after receiving an input. And finally, we can see an example with a reject gate. As you can see from the graphic, multiple triggers will occur before the first output needs to occur. Buffer mode allows the CC320 to keep track of when to fire each output. The CC320 has 8 optocoupled inputs and 8 optocoupled outputs. They are divided into groups of 4, which share a common ground node. The outputs are open drains. Two low power logical high outputs are provided to feed pull up resistors. Although the CC320 does have push buttons on the front, it is not the recommended way of programming the controller. Instead, you should connect to it using Ethernet. With an Ethernet cable connected to both the controller and your computer, you can open up the Gardasoft Maintenance tool. If you do not see your controller, hit the Controller Search button. Click on the serial number to select the controller. Press the Open Web Page button. Here we can see the main page for the CC320 web interface. I went ahead and hooked up my ring LED using a pull-up resistor to output 1. Here's a circuit diagram to represent what I am doing. The power is not shown for the CC320, but as you can see, output 1 is an open drain. The LED will turn on when output 1 remains high, but when it drops to low, the LED will turn off. I will now set the LED to turn on for 3 seconds and then turn off for 3 seconds, a 50% duty cycle, using channel 1. I set the mode to burst, and the trigger input to the timer. I leave the gate input as none, set the pulse delay to 3 seconds, the pulse width to 3 seconds, and the re-trigger delay to 0 seconds. I decide to not set any of the flags, and I hit submit. Here's what the LED looks like.
Well, it looks like it's working. No surprise, but still wonderful. If you want to use neither the push buttons nor the web interface, you can also send TCP IP data packets or UDP datagrams to configure the CC320. Here's how to use Ethernet commands to configure the LED output just as it was before. First, I use RS1, 8, 0, 0, 0. This is saying for output 1, use burst mode, which is 8, trigger input, which is 0, gate input as none, which is the second 0, and then 0 flags. The next command is RT1, 3S, 3S. This is saying set output 1 to have a pulse delay of 3 seconds and a pulse width of 3 seconds. Finally, the command RR1, 0, which is saying have output 1 have a retrigger delay of 0. Although I was using the Gardasoft maintenance tool to send those data packets or datagrams, you can also do so using your own software. Here you can see I have written a simple PowerShell script which I have just run to send the VR command to the CC320. It's telling me that this CC320 is using firmware version 26. I hope you found this presentation to be very informative and consider the CC320 for your next project. For questions regarding the CC320 or any of your machine vision needs, please contact Pyramid Imaging 